There we go. What? What? Yeah. What's up? Yeah. We are in beautiful Durango, Colorado. Matthew, what are we about to do? Well, we're in Durango right now. Yes. We're about to do a seven-day mountain bike adventure yes. to Moab, Utah. To Moab, Utah. One of my favorite places in the world. One of your favorite places, right? Yeah, easily. And Matthew here, we met on the very first lap of my very first Burning Man Ultra Marathon back in 2013. Shut up, leg! Shut up, leg! Shut up, leg! We can dance later! That was a good day. That was a great day. That was a great day. And since then, we've done other adventures. We've run across the Grand Canyon and back. How is the echo here? Uh, the White Rim Adventure. The White Rim Adventure. Woo! Woo and I call on Matthew when I want to do cool stuff. Thank goodness. <laughs> Thank goodness. <laughs> so what we're going to do, we are going to take the San Juan Hut Systems uh, trail. Um, it's not their trail, but it's, it's their hut system. And we're going to ride for seven days all the way to Moab. And the great thing about San Juan Huts is the huts have all of our food, all of our gear. We don't need to bring any camping gear. What else? We don't need to bring even... Well, barely anything. Barely anything. And we'll, we'll show you what we're going to bring. So these bikes are called Reeb. R-E-E-B. But if you take it this way, B-E-E-R, you've got beer. And so these bikes are part of the Oscar Blues Brewery in Lyons, Colorado. They make these awesome bicycles, hand-built in Lyons, in this barn, and their stuff is really high quality. I've never ridden one, and I'm really excited to try it out. And then they have this really cool uh, drivetrain system. Whoa, yes, I love this. It's the Pinion and Gates Carbon Drive. As you all know, I love the Gates Carbon Drive and the Pinion system. I have it on my Priority 600, and I've been using it for about a year and a half. And the best thing about all this setup right here is like there's zero maintenance. It just always works, and you never have to grease this chain. All of the gears are in here. There's a 600% gear ratio change from top to bottom, so we'll have plenty of gears. I have never used this system on a mountain bike. I've always been very curious to see how it works and we're gonna put them to the test for the next seven days. All right, so something about this bike, something I'm interested in, I've always used a 29 inch wheel and these are 27.5 plus, which means that they're, they're much fatter than normal. And so hopefully they'll absorb some of that shock uh, and vibration from those, from those long days on the trail. We'll see how it goes. I have not ridden a hardtail mountain bike since I was in high school. I've been rocking full suspension forever, so this is gonna be new to me for sure. And I believe the only way to do multi-day adventures is on a hardtail. But it will beat you up a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> and I have to say, we didn't, we didn't buy these bikes. These bikes are not ours. <laughs> Gates, my friends at Gates, let us borrow these bikes. I know you guys love to learn about what I bring on my trips, and I'm really excited to show you here because I'm really not bringing all that much compared to my other bike tours. I am bringing two wool riding shirts. I'm bringing a buff. Of course, one of the necessities of any bike tour is a drone that will be in my Camelback. I also have, of course, duh, my shaver. Can't leave home without that. I have a new helmet, look at this new helmet, it's so cool. That's the camera that goes on top of my helmet. I'm bringing one pair of padded liners, bike gloves, pump, sunscreen. Don't worry mom, I got my sunscreen. This right here is a little power block that can charge phones and other things. This is the only piece of camping equipment we need to bring. It's a silk liner for the sleeping bags that the, the huts will be providing us with. This is a Garmin. I have heard the navigation can be tricky, so we have all the maps loaded on the Garmin. I also have the maps loaded on my phone, and I have the maps printed out. So if we get lost, Matthew, uh -oh. this, uh, we're, <laughs> we're really not paying attention because we have all of the different ways to find our way around here. Since we will not have any power out there, I'm bringing lots of camera batteries. I am bringing two pairs of extra socks. This might seem totally unnecessary, but I'm loving this book. For all of you bike adventure people out there, this is awesome, Jedediah Jenkins. Follow him on Instagram, that's how I found out about him. This is a book about his ride from Oregon to Patagonia. I'm halfway through it. 
and I don't want to leave it, so I think I'm going to rip this thing in half and, and shove it in my bag somewhere. Hey, we're making a video, bird. I have a little tripod to set up so we can get cool shots of Matthew and I riding our bicycles. A little bit of squirrel's nut butter. That is a chamois cream iodine in case we find some fresh water out there in a river. Tire irons, tools of course. This is a little rain jacket. Charger for the drone, extra tube, extra drone batteries. These things weigh a ton, so really this is what's weighing me down. And these right here, this is another one seems kind of unnecessary to bring running shoes. I've never gone running while on a bike tour because usually I'm plenty tired and the last thing I want to do is go on a run. But I am training for the Javelina 100 at the end of the month, so I need to get some miles in. And Matthew, tell us about this crazy running streak you've been on. Uh, so I haven't missed a single day of running since June 2nd of 2012. Uh, and even though we might have some big days, I don't plan on missing one over the next seven. I have these cool slap bags made in Boulder, Colorado, which I will use for food and other things. Bop, bop. My bags are made by my friends in Boulder, Green Guru. All of the material is upcycled, which means that it's reused tents and other things from the outdoor industry. The route is going to take us through some high alpine and down into the desert, so we definitely have some puffies to stay warm at night. It's going to get cold. It is late September. And Matthew, I can't tell you how grateful I am that you're with me on this thing. Oh, I'm stoked to be here. Yeah, we're going to have so much fun out there. It's just us two. Usually in these hut trips, you can have up to eight people, but we're the only two doing it uh, this time. So we're going to have a lot of alone time out there in nature. <laughs> <laughs> Which is a good thing. Yeah, it's a great thing. I love nature. And the stars have been incredible lately. There's like no moon. So I'm really excited about being under the stars. And yeah, let's go have ourselves a really good time. What do you think? I love it. Let's do it. Let's do it. So me being me, I didn't really pay attention to all of the details. The route doesn't really start in Durango. It starts way past Durango, past Purgatory Resort. And we couldn't have gotten there without our new friend, Jim. What's up, my uh, man? How you doing, bud? Buddy. This dude is 6'9". We need to put the camera up there to get him way on tall, camera. Way taller than Doozer, but yeah. <laughs> the power of social media put us together. I said, is anybody driving this way? He threw our bikes in his Suburban. And here we are. Thank you so much, Heck bud. yeah, man. Have a great ride. Oh, we will, bro. There goes Jim. We're all alone now, bud. What do you think? <laughs> oh no! What have we gotten ourselves into? You know what we've gotten ourselves into? The best seven day adventure in the history of the world. I haven't even done it yet, and I know it's gonna be amazing. Been wanting to do this for a long time. <sighs> Feels so good to be out here. And again, this is a spot in Colorado I have never been. This has been a summer of discovering my beautiful state, and I can't wait to see how things change as we ride all the way towards Moab. And before any big ride, we got to do this little chant. It wards off all evil spirits. Okay. And it goes a little something like this. No, no crashies, crashies, no flatties, no whammies. Woo! How you feeling, Matthew? Not much oxygen up here, but there's just enough for Matthew and Ryan to have a great time. riding about 30 minutes and the views already are just blowing us away. This is absolutely incredible. Yes. Woo! I'm so happy I'm here.
can't tell for sure, but I think this bee over here is taking a nap in this flower. And it is very cute. I got really close and he didn't move. He's just chilling. That's where I would take a nap if I were a bee. I think these guys right here, I think those are mountain bluebells. And I'm impressed that they're still blooming this late in September. And I think the reason why is because this area had so much snow this winter and it took so long for the snow to melt that these guys are finally seeing the light of day just in time before the next snowfall. I'm saying, look at this, look at this. Whoa. Yeah. Bouncy, bouncy, bouncy. <laughs> so, this is awesome. Don't hit your head. So I forgot to mention that there are two ways to get to the hut. There's the main route which starts in Purgatory and then there's the alternate route is what, and that's what we're doing. And the alternate route is a little bit harder, more single track and more, more walking, but it certainly is worth it. Whoa, look at that, snow. Oh, some high mountain. Mm -hmm. It's like a Slurpee with no taste. <laughs> <laughs> Squiggly little line says, stay right. So now we get to go down this. That was a fun downhill, but my hands ache. How are your hands Yoo. doing? Ah, so many rocks. Who put all the rocks on this trail? Ooh. I'm glad to see you're not crashed, just peeing. So I just rolled up on these three dudes and I was like, oh, is everything okay? And they're like, no crashies, no whammies, no flatties. And I was like, oh, but they got a flatty. Oh, so how did it happen? Today. Have no clue. Happened about 50 feet up the trail there. Just started hissing at me. What do you think of this trail? 
we're regretting it right now, but uh, <laughs> after the fact, I'm sure we'll love it. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Type 2 fun. All right. Yeah, yeah. 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 So awesome to meet you guys. Yeah, you as well. This is so random to run into viewers of my channel way out in the middle of nowhere. <laughs> <laughs> We've gone past a few of these little creeks that are totally white. It looks like there's something out of Lord of the Rings or something. I'm guessing they're all white because of some sort of minerals. Maybe there's a spring up there and it dyes the rocks and it definitely makes it look magical, mystical. are feeling it for sure I haven't been mountain biking a ton this summer so you know my skills just aren't there <sighs> but it's day one out of seven by the end of this I'll be feeling a lot better look at that Woo! there it is way to go we did it today's ride was 20 miles, we left at 10.30 a.m. It is 4.30. It took us, what, that six and a half, six hours to get here? It had to be longer than 20. <laughs> yeah, yeah, right? we're gonna say that. It had to have been longer than 20. But that just goes to show, this is, this is tough business out here. And mountain biking, really, it's just, it's just a lot slower than road touring. You know, you're going up and down steep stuff. But, uh, oh yeah, we're here, it feels so good. Let's go, home sweet home. Here's our firewood. For the night. There it is. Dun 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 da. Very simple, but they have lots of food. Here's all the food, and that's exactly what I was waiting for. Look at that. MMs <laughs> for dinner. Oh, look at all of this food. They've got corn and sweet peas and chopped up tomatoes and pineapple. And this is my favorite right here. They have beans and spam if you eat spam, and there's just Ravioli. It's impressive. Look at all the scratch labs, blocks. Yeah, they have everything you could ever dream of. And a whole box of Milky Ways. Oh my gosh. Some smoked shorty sausage. And they have cold drinks, my friend. Here you yes, go. It's my favorite, you know. If you're a beer drinker, they have all kinds of beer, even Dale's, in honor of our bicycles. They've got a propane stove, even fresh bananas, check it out. All the spices you could ever want, even a pineapple, they have a fresh pineapple, that's amazing. Mm. Been waiting all day for these. Mm. I don't know what to eat. Do I have Cheerios? Do I make up some Thai food? <laughs> <laughs> Look, um. they, even, they have fresh fruit down there. And in this cooler, we have tortillas. And for Matthew, we have bacon. Oh yeah, bacon. Oh yeah, and there's eggs, and there's cheeses, and fresh vegetables, carrots, ginger, green cabbage, that is nuts. If there ever was like a zombie apocalypse, I would try to find one of these huts ASAP. You'd be set for a long time. <laughs> oh, this is gonna be so cozy. Alright, so we're being very lazy tonight because it's cold and we're tired, so we're just gonna open up a can of beans and just dip chips in them, which is pretty good. Oh, look at that, gourmet. Oh, yes. Matthew, what is that? This would be the uh, day one guide, trail guide. Alright, I think we should ceremonial, ceremoniously burn it. Thank you, day one, for all of the beauty and awesome trail. Yeah, that was a beautiful day. Thank you. Now you will keep us warm. 